Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The Curse of Oak Island Season 6 Review A Waste of Time or Worth It When The Curse of Oak Island Season 6 Final aired on May 7, 2019, the ultimate episode didn't evoke quite the global frenzy that Sunday's Game of Thrones Final did. But it was just as momentous in its own way for its own fan base. For starters, the May 7 final was technically the second final of the season. A bombshell revelation that was announced after the show was thought to be over on the official end date of April 30. But in true bewitching Oak Island fashion, the History Channel announced the airing of a special bonus episode with news so intriguing it couldn't wait till next season. Was the extra episode worth its weight in gold? Not if you thought the tantalizing tease was all about pirate gold being discovered on the island. However, the last, last show did reveal that there may be a ship in the swamp and featured a special tribute to the late Dan Blankenship. Ho oh, and Maddie Blake informing fans to look forward to season seven. In years past, news of renewal was something fans had to wait months for, so this tidbit was like manna from heaven. Which brings us to the main point. Was season six a waste of time were worth every minute? Based on my experience of watching and writing about the show, there are two types of Oak Island fan, past and forever in. There are also hopefully future ones for who this article is written. No lie, I hear only two responses when I ask the question, do you watch Oak Island? And those responses are split pretty evenly down the middle 50 50ths. The first response is, I used to, but they never find anything. The second response is, yes, I can't wait till they find something. And so Oak Island fanship, or the lack of, boils down to one's personality apparently. Do you see the island as half full or half empty? Depending on your point of view, the island is either right for discovery or past its due date. In a very informal survey, I found that reviews of the show, whether or not it was good television, were predicated primarily on what was or wasn't discovered, and secondarily on the enjoyment to be had watching a family-friendly show full of likable characters, plenty of historical mystery, big equipment and even bigger disasters, and the occasional ramblings of an offbeat theorist or two. So if you're wondering if you should give The Curse of Oak Island a look-see this fall, here are a few pithy, honest assessments from real-life fans that should shed some light on your unlikelihood of becoming a past fan or a forever-in fan after catching an episode or two. When asked when The Curse of Oak Island Season 6 ended, was it worth it? Die-hard fan responses ranged from, yes, there's always the lure of them finding something in the next episode. Yes, you want them to succeed following all these years. Yes, I want them to find the secret of whatever is down there. To yes, I want to know more about the history of the island. Conversely, past fan replies ranged from, no, there's been too many seasons and not enough finds. No, I want big finds. It's not enough so far to the questioning of the skills and credibility of the treasure hunting team led by Rick and Marty Legina. No, they made blatant mistakes. Why choose dye the color of the ocean? And no, why weren't they careful enough to not allow the HH shaft to cave in? One respondent got straight to the point, asking, Why don't they give us a timeline? Why is it taking so long to just dig? To be fair, several of the past fan responses sound like they might actually still sneak a peek next season to see if anything else is found. But there you have it, the pros and cons to watching The Curse of Oak Island. If you like a history-based show you can watch with the entire family, which features outdoor adventure and an amiable group of men hell-bent on finding everything from rumored pirate treasure, The Ark of the Covenant, William Shakespeare's manuscripts, to Marie Antoinette's Lost Jewels, you'll probably enjoy this documentary reality show that centers on a Nova Scotian island 
at the center of a 223-year-old treasure legend. On the other hand, if you have no patience for watching men dig by shovel and crane week after week, finding very little actual treasure, chances are you might want to make a hard pass. Then again, the show that some complain plods along at a snail's pace is a bona fide ratings hit for the History Channel, so millions of viewers can't all be wrong. Plus, season seven promises to be the biggest, most sensational season yet. Wait, isn't that what they said last season? And the season before that? Well, you never know.